Hello, everyone, and thank you for taking the time today to watch this videos about careers in our counties, uh, where we are examining or just looking more into some of the counties around Maryland. Um, we're, we're fortunate today to be joined by Scott Singleton, uh, uh, who is a business consultant with Carroll County Workforce Development. So Scott, thank you so much for being here today uh, to answer a few of our questions. Daniel, thanks for having me here. It's, uh, it's exciting to spend some time with you and with students at, from McDaniel College. Yeah, really appreciate your time. Uh, our first question today is, uh, Scott, what are the cultural attractions and lifestyle perks of living and working in Carroll County? Sure. Well, I've been here in the county for over 20 years, and um, it came from New York. So it was a new place to me when I came down. And uh, over the course of a couple years and a few decades, I've kind of gotten familiar with the surroundings and the various offerings. And I think Carroll County is a, is a really a nice place. Uh, it's rural, but yet close enough to the cities and the attractions. So the, just the location itself is just perfectly set. And I think for someone who's looking to get a career going and to maybe look at, I want to maybe purchase a house at some point, Carroll County offers that. It's affordable. Uh, it's good for young families. It's good for folks that are, again, single uh, members of the household. And, you know, again, that just allows them to purchase something at a good entry price. But in addition to that, you know, in terms of lifestyle, there are parks, part of the recreation programs and parks and programs that are available. So it's the entertainment and um, the outdoor types of venues that are available are outstanding for folks that do have younger children. So what we hear a lot is Carroll County offers a great public education system, Carroll County Public Schools, well known throughout the state as one of the highest ranked and um, safety, again, you know, just looking at something as pure and simple as safety, which a lot of people are concerned about these days. Carroll County is a great place. You can, you can feel safe. You can walk around. And, um, you know, that's something to be said. We know there are other places where that's not the case. And um, that's probably at the top of the list. And on top of that, of course, is career opportunities. Um, we have a, a range of different opportunities here and um, a workforce that is highly educated. So we really take pride in that. So I would say, you know, again, it's, you have to get to know the area. Um, everything's accessible here in Carroll County and beautiful scenery, lots of nice people. It's a great place to live. Thank you, Scott. Let's dive a little bit more into some of the, the business features here. So what are some of the most in-demand industries throughout Carroll County? Sure. So when you take a look at Carroll County, it's it's probably, you know, one of the smaller counties in the state when you compare it to the Montgomery County or Howard and Prince George's County. But given the size, I think there's a good, again, a good kind of range of opportunities that are available. And some of our leading industries that we have here right in the county are uh, in industries such as healthcare and education. We also have uh, government types of opportunities. Uh, manufacturing, which a lot of folks may not realize is uh, an industry where there are professional positions available. And so I think what you have to look at as a job seeker is that just because you're in an industry like construction, you're going to have other opportunities available, such as accounting and legal and marketing and sales. So for someone who majored or was a liberal arts student, you, you really want to look at the organization and dive a little bit deeper into the various positions that they offer. And that's true with everything. I look at LifeBridge Hospital, which is right here in Westminster, Maryland, and also offers a lot of satellite offices. There's a lot of nursing and doctor and physicians and healthcare related positions, but also again, they, they have IT and they have marketing and they have um, all of the support positions that you need. So there is a range. Um, there, there is really an endless supply of different choices that someone would have. And I think it's investigating our, our businesses that we have. And there are about 4,000 businesses that are located in Carroll County. And we have companies that are well-known, such as Penguin Random House, which offers a large 
warehouse facility right here in Westminster, Maryland. And again, they offer positions ranging from warehouse work to marketing, to call centers, to accounting, to, to IT and everything in between. So they are one of our largest employers here in the county. Uh, so it's that's what our office does is helps job seekers investigate all of these various career choices and provide some training to some additional training that someone might need to obtain a position in addition to their already existing skill sets. Wonderful. Let's dive deeper now into those skill sets. What are some of the most in-demand skills um, throughout the county and how may students leverage their liberal, liberal arts degree, excuse me, uh, to, to meet the needs of employers? What we hear a lot is soft skills, believe it or not, you know, technical skills are great. Uh, you'll see that in your job descriptions when someone says I'll need someone to be able to operate a forklift or someone that can um, be at a IT help desk. So you're talking about courses and certifications and training and degrees for a lot of the positions you'll actually see four year degree needed. However, really what's more important to a lot of employers these days are the soft skills, which are things like time management and working within a team environment and problem solving and critical thinking, which goes hand, hand in hand with a liberal arts uh, education. Uh, there are a lot of different soft skills and each person has their unique set of soft skills. Um, what we hear a lot, and this may seem odd, but a lot of employers are talking about the most important skills are reliability and work ethic. Uh, just someone who's gonna show up every day and give the effort that's needed for the position and um, being able to, again, work with others. Uh, we, we see that, that those are skill sets that you do have to learn to some degree and then some of it's internal, just the way you function, but that is really important. Technical skills, we, we see that, um, through a four-year degree, you're going to pick up a lot of different coursework, and you're going to have a probably a pretty good variety of skill sets. And each person, I says, I'll, I'll say they have superpowers. So every person has special superpowers that you can uniquely sell in an interview setting. But more importantly is this whole idea, are you open to continuing to learn? the continuing education, you've completed your four-year degree, however, doesn't stop just because you've, you've got the diploma. In a career, you need to continue to evolve to upgrade skill sets. We call it upskilling, and it's learning new things, always trying to learn something new and different to remain a valid asset to the company or again, to start a new career. So there's a lot of reasons to, for, for someone to think about continuing education. And when you start your career, doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna end your career on that same pathway. So thinking about you know, a lot of different opportunities that are gonna be available to someone who is 22, 21 or 22 years old, but throughout their career, those goals may change. And that's a lot what we do is we talk to job seekers here at our workforce center, talking about what your life goals are and what your, your career goals are and trying to marry the two. What is it that's important to you personally? And then what's important in terms of a career? And that's going to change. That could change from year to year or could change maybe from a decade to as you get closer to retirement, which I'm sure... You as students aren't thinking about right now. We're talking about launching a career. Wonderful, thank you, Scott. My my last question for you is: is what resources are available um, through your office, through through um, you know Carroll County Workforce Development? What uh, resources are available to job seekers? Yeah, great question. Thanks for asking, Daniel. Um, the Carroll County Workforce Development Office is part of what is considered the American Job Center Network. We're a proud partner in that. We're part of the whole Department of Labor Network. And throughout the country, there are job centers like ours, and we just happen to be the Workforce Development Office. We are actually, um, our services originate through Carroll County government, through our Economic Development Department, 
And our mission is to help our local employers to be successful and to be able to sustain the workforce. And so we provide services to not only job seekers, but also to all of the employers in Carroll County. And in terms of services and programs, we customize. So anyone, any individual is welcome to walk into our office or receive virtual services uh, through our office. And it's simply just making contact with us. As we say, the toughest thing to do sometimes is to ask for help. And what we wanna encourage all of the students at McDaniel College is to realize that when you're trying to launch your career or making a career change, it's really important to ask for help from others, from your network, but also from workforce development centers, because we do provide these services. They're free, okay? So that's an important thing to remember. And we're staffed by professionals in a lot of specialty areas. So if you need help with a resume, if you need help to prepare for interviews, we do mock trainings. Uh, if you wanna investigate careers and explore, we'll do that. We offer a service called Job Club, which is a weekly meeting. It's a support meeting, but it's really just kind of an opportunity to be around other people that are going through a job search. And I've always said that searching for your career and your job, there are fundamental strategies and plans that you can have in place, but most importantly is having the mindset and the right attitudes, the positive outlooks, and having your mind so that you are confident and you are aware of your strengths. And that's maybe the toughest thing. And it's tough for not only younger people, but it's tough for any individual is, do you really know yourself? Do you, do you know what it is that you want? And do you know yourself in terms of being able to sell yourself to a potential employer? That takes time. And that takes some maybe help from other people. And that's what we do here. We offer all of these services. We can help with additional training should you need that. Uh, there's an endless amount of services that we do provide. But more importantly, we'd like to have someone call us or walk in and no appointment needed. Uh, we provide the help. So I'll give a website that anyone can use to find out more. Our website is carolworks.com. And our phone number is 410-386-2820. And as I mentioned, we are eager, very eager to help individuals that need assistance with their career. And uh, it could be at any stage of that, whether someone has recently just graduated from high school, from college, or maybe they've been in a career for a number of years. So for those alumni that are out there with me, Daniel College, and I am a McDaniel alumni and a proud one at that, I'd say that, you know, reaching back out to your CEO office and, and then connecting with your local workforce development office is critical. Get connected, get plugged in and make use of the resources and the people that can assist you to be successful with your job search. Thank you, Scott. You took the words right out of my mouth there. Yes, of course, we have the services, the career services um, right here on campus. We have faculty, staff, folks that are ready and willing to help. But if a, if a student knows, if a graduate knows which direction they want to go, which region they might want to be in, why not take full advantage of uh, the different offices and services that are out there and relatively inexpensive or free? So, um, so thank you so much for all of that wonderful insight. Thank you for uh, helping us uh, understand even more about Carroll County, even though our campus is located right here in Carroll County. Um, and I'll also make sure, of course, to include your website so students can contact you all um, and learn more about your, your services. So thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate your partnership. Daniel, my pleasure. It's glad to, again, have uh, a connection here with McDaniel College and excited that we may be able to help some students that are recently graduating or just kind of, again, looking to get some type of support. We're here for you. Wonderful. Thank you, Scott. Be well. Thanks. You too.